The following is rare footage of McGregor drunk as a baby. Uh, total loss of all basic motor skills. Blurred vision, no balance, numb tongue. So I don't give a fuck about what anybody's saying right now. Hey y'all, welcome to the two shot factor. We're not even in the, the newsroom anymore. Because we couldn't afford to pay the lease to those shysters. We got the side cam working now. We're gonna talk about boxing, again. He's like, it's ridiculous. You might have heard of a guy named Smokin' Burt Cooper from the <laughs> 90s. He's a guy that was in some close fights. He was in, uh, let's see, Riddick Bo beat him in two rounds, but that wasn't very close. Uh, Mercer was 12 rounds, that's Ray Mercer. That's the guy that knocked out an MMA fighter a long time ago. Outstanding. What if he Tim Sylvia, or is it Silva? Tim Sylvia. Shows what I know. I know stuff. 243 IQ. Let's take a look here. Let's take a look here. See, after 94, when he fought this guy here, let's see, uh, 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 uh Chris Burton, no, yeah, you no. Know. Yeah, this was just, uh, just getting to the later days of his career. He fought a, a, a bare knuckle English champ. In fact, he was apparently a world champion named Joe Savage. Like, it's not like all bubble. It's not like, like what? Shampoo. So I don't give a fuck about what anybody's saying right now. Throughout the rich history of boxing, Great Britain has produced legendary fighters from Bob Fitzsimmons to Henry Cooper to Lennox Lewis to Prince Nassim Hamed. Born in London, England, the last undisputed heavyweight champion. Actually, can we do this in like a, a Casey Kasem voice? <clears throat> Born in London, England, the last undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Lennox Lewis, made his bones in one of the greatest eras of heavyweight boxing. Amidst luminaries such as Evader Ev Holt, yeah, that's what it says. Evader Holyfield, Mike Tyson, George Foreman, <laughs> and Riddick Bowe. In the long list of great fighters emerging from the British Isles, one name remains noticeably absent. In the late 80s and early 90s, a West Midlands heavyweight by the name of Joe Lethal Weapon Savage. I've been um, doing recordings and stuff. So I don't give a fuck about was wreaking havoc. Not Fucking, they always drop things. Wreaking havoc on the underground circuit, reportedly knocking seasoned pros unconscious with one punch. Capturing the title of world heavyweight bare knuckle champion, Savage, a legitimate tough guy, amassed an incredible 42 wins, all by way of knockout. Okay, I'm gonna read that later. We're gonna get to the fight because that's what videos are all about. I don't watch anything but our rated movies. Joe Cooper versus, versus Bird Cooper versus Joe Savage. Let's go over here. Uh, he had a 42, 42 and 0 record, all by way of knockout. Conor McGregor can box. He's got, you know, he's got, a, he, he knows how to box, obviously, but not. He's never been in professional boxing. That's what I'm saying. Uh, he can take punches with four ounce gloves, right? He's more of a stand up fighter than like a, a Diaz. Uh, or GSP. Uh, so this is more accommodable uh, for him. But realistically, still, like we were talking about, I mean, this guy, Joe Savage, you may not have heard of him, but he was a bare knuckle boxer, no four ounce gloves. 42 and 0, all by way of knockout. After dominating the bare knuckle circuit, with savage ease, including one instance that saw one instance that saw the lethal weapon claim a crushing knockout with a completely detached ear. Savage wanted to transition to professional boxing for one night only to take on the champion. Well, he never got the champion, but he got Burt Cooper wearing the Spartan trunks there. There you go, the guy with the R on his back, like, um, I mean, he looks dangerous, he'd probably be a little intimidated by a guy like this. Is that Jesus on his back? He's got a lot of tattoos, man. This is back when people still didn't have that many tattoos. You had to be hardcore or gay, and I'm not calling that guy gay. But just watch the difference, I've seen this, just, just watch, watch the difference. It doesn't take long. You can see the difference in styles. Think it's a KO? 
People say, oh, boxing gloves, Conor McGregor. I know that these are heavyweights. That's, you know, Floyd Mayweather's not a knockout artist, exactly. Look at this guy's attack. Boom. Takes a right hook there. Nice left hook. He's trying. He's nothing. Oh. Boom. Boom. Wow. Some of those punches didn't even look clean until the end, really. But, you know, they were, they were connecting enough. Like, left hooks. This guy's barely even working off the jab. I think he's more notoriously a power puncher anyway, but, like, um, I think he doesn't have to. I mean, the other guy's swinging. He's leaving himself open. Burke Cooper's just going to town with that left hook. There's the right. Guy comes back. Oh, that, that one stunned him a bit. Jesus. It's over, guys. Like, it's done. See how fast that was? See? Do you see what happens when you fuck a stranger in the ass, Larry? Yeah, he's going to the hospital. That was the end of him. I don't know what happened. What else do we got? He, he was, uh, the promoters arranged a month-long publicity campaign where he would claim that he was the man for the prize on sheer strength and brutality. His catchphrase was, I want to kill everyone. Hey, let's hang out. Uh, he, he challenged Lennox Lewis and Bruno, Frank Bruno, on the same night, but they turned him down. They were, you know, playing poker or something. Anyway, that's all. I just wanted to show you what happens when boxers fight people that aren't exactly boxers. And that guy was a bare-knuckle champion, 42-0. Think about it. Let's read this Tyson part here. Mike Tyson says Conor McGregor will get killed in Floyd Mayweather fight. They should fight. Mike Tyson has dismissed Conor McGregor's chances of causing a major upset in his upcoming fight with Floyd Mayweather. The former heavyweight champion believes the UFC icon made a serious mistake in agreeing to fight Mayweather in boxing match, rather than about under MMA rules. Hmm. In an interview with Pardon My Take, Pardon My Take, Tyson claimed McGregor facing defeat by knockout when he enters the ring with Mayweather in Las Vegas in August, on August 26th. I'm still weird over that part of my take, man. McGregor's gonna get killed in boxing, says Mike Tyson. I got mad because I thought they were gonna use MMA rules against boxing because that's what it's all about. Can the boxer beat the MMA guy? McGregor put his dumb ass in a position where he's gonna get knocked off because this guy's been doing this all his life since he was a baby. McConaughey. McConnor can't kick and grab and stuff, so he won't stand much of a chance. McGregor took this biggest sucker wolves in the history of boxing. He's a beautiful fighter, and I love to eat his children. He didn't actually say that last part. The dick cam? This is the, this is the ass cam. Oh, yeah. This is the tweet cam. I can't sleep! Ever! McGregor predicted he would take Mayweather's unbeaten record by knockout <laughs> during the pair's controversial pre-fight promotional tour. There's no way other. There's no other way about it. His little legs, his little core, his little head. I'm gonna knock him. I'm gonna knock him out inside four rounds. Mark my words. McGregor told a crowd in Los Angeles. It's a shitty impersonation. Okay, that's all for now.